Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I like to do is show you how to graph this absolute value equation. And when graphing an absolute value equation, um, basically what I did is um, I gave you the parent graph. And I think when graphing functions, you know, quadratic, absolute value, all these different functions, it's very important to understand the parent graph, what the parent graph looks like, and what exactly the function represents. So what I did was I created a table as well as created the parent graph. And so what we want to pretty much do is understand, well, what exactly is y equals absolute value of x plus 2? How is that going to affect our graph? Now, notice that the vertex is where our graph is going to be changing directions. You can see our vertex is at 0, 0, all right? um, where I'm not adding or subtracting any numbers inside the absolute value or outside the absolute value. But by adding 2, you can see what my, my transformation form, what I have is y equals a times x minus h. So what that does is whatever your value of h is, that's your new value of your vertex. So my vertex, in this case, is now going to be 2 comma 0. Because I'm not adding anything. I'm not adding my k, right? I'm not adding a k here. So I'm not going up or down at all. But what I have, the x plus 2, remember it's x you could also think about it this way, x opposite of negative 2, right? Remember, it's x opposite of h. So, oh, what am I doing? That's a negative 2. Obviously, <laughs> that's a good way to read it. So it's x minus h. Well, that means h is negative 2. Minus a negative is plus. So my vertex is negative 2. So what that means is this graph, the absolute value of x plus h, is basically this exact same graph, but then just shifted over two units. So what I'm basically doing then is taking this graph and shifting it over two units. So I know that at the vertex is like the is the pivot point, right? And then what you could like shift all these points if you want to, but just notice the parent graph it goes over one, up one, over two, up two, over three, up three. So I'm just going to follow that pattern. Two over three, up three. I can go over 1, up 1, over 2, up 2, over 3, up 3. And just follow that pattern in both directions. And you can see how now my graph has been shifted two units to the left. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you graph your absolute value equation. Thanks.